What's up, YouTube? Um, haven't done a how-to video in a while, so I figure I'll go ahead and do one. And what's better to do one on my own car? Uh, this is my 2011 Dodge Charger. Uh, please forgive the dust. Um, 2012, I'm sorry. Please forgive the dust. Just got back from Kentucky over the weekend, so it's going to get full detailed. Um, last week or week before last, I think it was a week before last, uh, me and my brother drove to Jonesboro, Arkansas for him to buy a car. On the way back, um, he decides okay. that he didn't um, want, sorry, my phone just cut off. I had to delete some stuff out of it. My phone is always full. But anyway, um, he decides that he didn't want to dodge the tire in the street and decides to hit it. So then the tire flips up in the air, boom, hits my front bumper and completely destroys the bumper, uh, as you guys saw in the before picture. So bought a new bumper, uh, painted it, put it on. My grill had a crack right there, and this piece right here was broke. So I went ahead and ordered another grill, but I didn't want to order that one. I wanted something different. So I ordered this one, uh, just a black grill off eBay and um, I painted this one black to kind of hide the flaws and kind of blend in with the bumper until that one comes in so um, it's here now I'm going to show you guys how to install it now you have about 10 or 12 small screws that's at the bottom that you will have to take off if you want to completely take the bumper off me I'm not um, because I'm just going to unsnap it it's a bolt and two snaps it's a bolt that goes through this hole that screws into this plastic piece and this piece snaps in through the top take that bolt out it just pull, pulls out I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides and then I'm just gonna lay it pull it forward to where I can reach behind it that way I don't have to take all the screws from the bottom of loose um, also there are four screws one right here, one right here, one right there, and one right there, Phillips, that holds the grill to this back plastic piece. Once you take those screws out, you undo the snaps. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got some plastic snaps. I'll show you on the other grill. But these right here, it's got these plastic snaps that snaps into the plastic piece and also it screws in in these four places now I'm just going to use a stubby fillet undo it unsnap it pull it out and put it in so once I get it broke down now be back. all right guys as you guys can see I told you it's one bolt on this side that holds it in and it snaps off and I just pulled the whole front bumper forward that way I don't have to undo all those 10 12 bolts at the bottom of it so it's already broke down this is the plastic piece. That's the old grill. This is the plastic piece that this new grill will bolt to. Now, I'm just showing you guys that's how it goes. But you have to put the grill in first. You have to put the grill in first and then put that behind it. Reason being is because these long pieces right here that you screw into have to go in these holes. So it's got to go in through those holes, then you put the black piece behind it and screw it. So, all right guys, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, we'll be back with the finished product. All right guys, that's the finished product. See, one thing that kind of, I'm sorry, I have a, a OCD or something that's really bothering me is I should have took the Dodge logo out right there because I can see it and it's kind of messing with me. So I might end up taking it back apart, taking that off. But um, anyway, there you guys go. Um, it's in there, snug. So, take took about 30 minutes. 
And uh, that's how you put a grill on a 2011 to a 2014 Dodge Charger. All right, guys, if you want to see more how-to videos, just uh, comment. Let me know what you want to see. I try to do some of those, do a little bit more of those, as I used to do back in the day, the tech tips, if you remember. So um, subscribe and see what I do next.